Hello everyone, this is DA from e Academy, and this video is about the completeness property in R or we can say that in the real line we're talking about what is meant by the completeness property. So before actually going towards the completeness property, we have to see what is meant by boundedness of a subset of R. So let's talk about it first so let we have a real line r and we'll take a subset of this let's take a as a subset of r so this set a is said to be bounded above if there exists a number u within this r let's figure out that u so u can be the element of of this r u if we're talking about the this set a is bounded above so the u can be here or you can be here as well as you can be in in this portion so this u that is belong to the, to the real line is said to be the bound these are said to be the upper bound of all of the elements of this a we can say that this u is is greater than or equal to a where what is a where for all of a belong to the set a and u is eventually the element of of the real line so each such number u is called an upper bound of the set a again this set A or the subset A is said to be bounded above if there exists U that have this property. So for every element of this set A. So this type of U or for each U we can say that this set is bounded above or this u is said to be the upper bound of this set a now similarly we can talk about the lower bound that this set a is said to be bounded below by an element of this r let's say we have v that can be on this limit or here so that can be v can be here or here or here so this is the area where we can be available for for figure out the lower bound of this set a so the set a is said to be bounded below if there exists a number v in r such that v is less than or equal to a for all of a belongs to the set a so so we can say that this for each or each such number v is called the lower bound of the set a and this set a is said to be bounded if it has both upper bound and lower bound because if it only has the upper bound so it can't be proper bounded set so or similarly if it has only a lower bound so we can't say that it is a bounded set for the bounded set when we're talking about the set is bounded so there must be an upper bound and a lower bound so when we are talking about the upper bound and the lower bound of any set so there is a term supremum and infimum that is really very important in in this aspect so we'll deal let's discuss this as well so again we have a real line and we have a subset of real line that is a this portion is for the upper bounds of of a and this portion is for the lower bounds of the set a so if a is bounded above then a number u is said to be the supremum of of this set a if it contains two properties the very first property is so the first property is that u must be an upper bound of the set a and the second property is that if if t is any upper bound so for all of the upper bounds of this set a 
this u is is less than or equal to that t then u is said to be the supremum of of this subset a again if a is bounded above then a number u is said to be the supremum of this set a if it has two properties the very first is that u must be an upper bound of a and the second property is that this u must be less than every possible upper bound of this set a and briefly we'll call that supremum as the least upper bound that contains both of the properties in it so now talking about the infimum of this set a so if if a is bounded below then a number let's assume v is said to be the infimum of this set a if it has two properties the very first is similarly that v is said to be v must be a lower bound of a and v must be greater than or equal to every possible lower bound of the set a so we'll write it so this v is said to be the infimum of the set a if v is the lower bound of the set a the v must be the greatest of all or we can say that v must be greater than or equal to every possible lower bound and so briefly we'll call it infimum as the greatest lower bound so this is the definition of of the infimum and the supremum now we will understand it with the help of an example so this is our number line and the subset of this is let's take the subset 0 to 1 and this is an open interval 0 to 1 that is a subset of r and every element from this side is the upper bound of of, of r so for every element that i'm taking let's say 2 2 is the upper bound because it satisfies the definition of being the upper bound that it must be greater than or equal to every element of this set so every element of this area is the upper bound of of, of this set a and similarly every element of this side is the lower bound of this set a so now it's time to figure out what is the supremum and an element is said to be the supremum if it is the upper bound and the second it must be the smallest of all of the possible upper bounds so here one is the element that is the upper bound of this set zero to one this is an open interval because one is is greater for all of the elements of the set a so one is the upper bound and one is the upper bound that is the smallest upper bound that is the smallest possible upper bound for the set a so one is said to be the supremum for the set a so supremum of the set a is one and now the infimum of the set a that the element must be a lower bound and the element must be the greatest of all of the lower bounds so here zero is the element that is the lower bound because zero is less than or equal to every element of the set a and and zero is the greatest of all of the possible lower bounds of a so zero is the infimum of the set a so now we'll talk about the completeness property of r so the completeness property says that every non empty set of real numbers that has an upper bound also has a supremum in r this property is also called the supremum property and there is correspondingly the infimum infimum property so we can say that every non empty set of real numbers that has a lower bound must also have a infimum have an infimum in r so this is the completeness property of the real numbers so this is for now looking for most of the videos then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye